It's a beautiful day today. Thank you for coming. In the past, I had dabbled with Christianity when I was younger, never took it very seriously, and I fell away from it as a young adult for years. And as I grew older and experienced a lot of grief and heartache in my life and change, like many people my age, I tried to fill the void with worldly things. Everything from food and drinking to entertainment um, and new age thinking and religion and new age spirituality. And in the last few years, I really felt the burden of those choices, the self-loathing, the guilt, the loneliness, and this overwhelming fear that I had to control the outcome of every decision that I made. And about a year and a half ago, right before the pandemic hit and the lockdown occurred, I reached a breaking point where I realized I needed something more. And for the first time in many years, I attended uh, my first church service. And prior to going to the first service, um, a word had entered my head, which I had never heard before or used before. I had no use for it in my life. There was no application for it. And the word was reconciliation. And when I first sat in on my first church service um, after being gone for so long, um, they had a little exercise where they brought forth the children of the church for um, something called the word of the day. And it was to teach the children um, a word and help explain it and tie it to the verse. And the word was reconciliation. And I still remember that feeling, just overwhelming sense of peace. I realized for all the years that I had been feeling abandoned and forsaken and forgotten um, that I wasn't. And in the last six months, I've been overwhelmed with everything I've learned and been taught by the people here, by the community. The community here is warm, it's genuine, it's full of people who want to be here and share the grace and glory of God. And for the first time in my life and in years, um, I had a profound sense of I'm in the right place, I'm meant to be here. And unlike previously when I felt like I had been in bondage or stuck, um, I felt in that moment that I was finally free to pursue the life that God had planned for me. So for the first time ever, I understood the phrase freedom in Christ. And that's what kicked off my decision to be baptized today. So I would say for anyone who's doubting or lonely or um, questioning or maybe is unsure where you are in your faith right now, um, just remember Matthew 7, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find it, knock and the door will be open to you. He's right there waiting.